In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add hands to this basic armature that I created in previous tutorials. The first thing I have to do is make the 3D model of the hand. I'm going to move the in 3D insertion cursor roughly to where I want the hand to go. And I'm going to add mesh and cube. Um, and this will form my hand. Let's get rid of the 3D insertion cursor. Uh, I'm going to press S for scale and shrink that down a bit. Let's probably zoom in a bit. Pan across. Okay, now um, S for scale in the X direction. and S for scale in the Y direction. It's not far off the size I want it. Um, I'm going to color it, so I'm going to go to material. I've called all my other materials that sort of naming convention, so I'll continue with that. Uh, hand color. And I'm going to make the hands cyan turquoise color. Now I want to rotate the hand uh, by 30 degrees, so I'm pressing R to rotate, N for a numeric value, and I'm typing 30. It's, I want to do that minus 30. Now, as soon as I hit the minus, it flips over for me, so that's fine. So I'm pressing enter. So there's my hand. I just need to position it at the end of the arm. I'm pressing G for grab, and I'm going to move that to there. It's good practice to name everything. So I'm going into the object properties of the hand, and I'm going to name this hand underscore L, capital L. Um, it's not too critical for the 3D models, but certainly for the bones, the naming convention using left and right is is, is essential for X uh, copying. While uh, I'm in the properties of the hand, I notice uh, the Y uh, position of the hand. Uh, if I bring that to zero, it'll be on the Y axis. Position that better, the hand better in the y axis, uh, y direction. Okay, I think I'm ready now uh, to duplicate this to make the right hand. So I'm going to click duplicate, and I'm going to press enter, and now I have a duplicate. And if I rename that hand, it's on the model's right hand side. So hand underscore r. Now, to get this in the right position, at the moment it's on top of the left hand, but all I have to do is uh, pan over to here, and for the right hand, just make the x value negative. So if I put in a minus sign, there goes the hand over to the, the model's right hand side. And I just need to change the rotation from minus 30 to plus 30. And there I have uh, my two hands ready to put the bones into. Now to extend the armature to uh, put a single bone in each of the hands. Uh, I need to select the armature and to edit the armature you have to go into edit mode. I'm going to select the lower arm bone and select the tail of the bone. That end is the tail. And I press instead E to extrude to create a new bone, but if you want it with X mirror, you have to press Shift and E. 
So I'm holding down Shift and pressing E. Now as I drag the mouse, I get bones both sides. And I'm going to actually deliberately put that out of place and zoom in to get a better placement. So now I'm going to press G to grab and get a good placement of the bone. Uh, I want the bone properties and select the whole bone and take any roll off. Whether this is important or not, though I always seem to have less problems if I take the roll off later on. Okay, so if I zoom back, that's mirrored, so it's done on both sides. I need to name the hand bone. This will be hand left. And this will be hand right. And now I need to connect the 3D model to the armature to the hand bone. Okay, to do this I need to zoom right in, pan across. Now the 3D model, the blue cube, is the um, child. And before I start though, I tend to go into pose mode first. Then I select the, the blue cube. Now you sometimes have to zoom right in to be able to select it. Now it's selected. Then I hold down shift and select the hand bone to be the parent. Control and P and select bone. And now we need to pan across to do the other hand. And we need to select the cube. Hold down shift, select the bone, and control and P, and select bone. And that cube is now linked to that bone. And now we have our armature, basic armature, with hands. I am going to add a constraint to the hand bone. So I've selected the bone and then I'm going to go to bone constraints. Add constraint, limit rotation. And limit all these. As you do that, the hand goes uh, contorted. If you change that to local space, it puts it back. In the X direction, I'm going to go from minus 30 to plus 30. In the Y, I'm going to go from minus 90 to plus 90. And in the Z, minus 30 to plus 30. I'm going to limit transforms. OK, let's test that. Uh, the best way to test it is to turn the 3D manipulator widget on just by clicking here. And we want to use rotate manipulator mode so we get now the minus 90 to plus 90 is in the y direction which is represented by the green and that basically allows me to rotate the palm forwards or rotate the palm back and then the x and the z motion just uh, this is the X, it just allows a bit of freedom of the hand to be posed. Similarly with the Z. That's how to pose the hand. Let's go back to the arm in general, turn the 3D widget off. Now. The lower arm, I put inverse kinematics constraint on it, IK. 
Now, IK is great if I grab the arm. Uh, for most posing, the computer does the work. You move the lower arm to where you want it, and the computer moves back up the chain to place all the other bones for you. Um, so, the lower arm is the main pose bone, and by posing that in the three windows, three orthogonal windows, the top, the front, and the right, we can pose the arm into most positions that we want using G to grab, or you can just drag the bone, we'll start grab mode, and then click to release. Um, but sometimes uh, the lower arm is not enough. You have to use some of the other bones to pose, get the pose that you want. Now I'm selecting the upper arm. Now if I press G to grab, that happens, and I don't want that, so I'm doing Control Z. Now with the non-IK bones, use R to rotate, and the best way is to use the 3D manipulator widget. So I want to rotate it there to bring the arm up for a wave. Okay, so to get that pose, I did need to pose the upper arm and use rotation, the 3D widget. Uh, now I can go back to my main pose bone, the lower arm, and if I G to grab that, I can get a nice wave pose to wave goodbye. To reset your poses, uh, press A twice to select all your bones and pose, clear transform location, pose, clear transform, rotation. And you're ready for another pose. Uh, that's the end of this tutorial. I'll put uh, the final file and the beginning file on my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there.